Understanding Bank Transfers, a Timeline. Hello, welcome to our informative video. Today, we're going to discuss a frequently asked question. How long does it take for a transfer to be completed? This can vary depending on the type of transfer, the institutions involved, and various other factors. What determines transfer speed? Firstly, let's discuss the factors that can impact transfer speed. 1. Type of transfer. Whether the transfer is domestic, within the same country, or international can drastically affect the time it takes for a transfer to be completed. 2. The institutions involved. Different banks and financial institutions have different processing times. This can impact the speed of the transfer. 3. Transfer method. Different methods such as wire transfer, ACH, automated clearinghouse, transfer, or real-time payments can have varying processing times. Domestic transfers. Domestic transfers generally are quite quick, often taking one to two business days. Some banks even offer same-day or instant transfers within the same bank, while others may take a bit longer. International transfers. On the other hand, international transfers usually take a bit longer due to the need for multiple banks to communicate across borders. These can often take anywhere from one to five business days, with three being about average. However, this can be longer depending on the countries and banks involved. Other types of transfers. There are also a few specific types of transfers that are worth mentioning. Wire transfers, these are often the fastest, often completed within the same day for domestic transfers and one to two days for international. ACH transfers, these usually take one to three business days. These are often used for things like direct deposit and automatic bill payments. Real-time payments, some institutions offer real-time or near instantaneous transfers, often within the same institution or network of institutions. As we have seen, the time it takes for a transfer to be completed can vary widely depending on a variety of factors. Always remember to check with your bank or financial institution to understand the specific timeframes they work with. We hope you found this video informative and helpful. Thank you for watching.